This morning's Health Watch, the perks of coffee. Turns out your daily cup of joe could actually help reduce your risk of getting certain diseases. Here to discuss the benefits is Dr. Alana Levine. Good morning. Good morning. So, you know, for, forever it seems like we kept hearing, you shouldn't drink too much coffee. It's, this is bad, this is bad. Mm -hmm. What are some of the benefits, or at least theoretical benefits, that they are listed in this new study. The new studies are showing that it actually may be protective against developing type 2 diabetes, may be protective in heart disease, certain cancers, may prevent cavities, the list goes on. That is just amazing to me. What property in coffee would possibly get that kind of result? We're not sure exactly what it is. Probably there's some sort of antioxidant properties in the coffee. Mm -hmm. It's shown in both decaf and regular coffee, so it may not necessarily be the caffeine, but the antioxidants can actually decrease inflammation and some cell damage, so right. you don't have to feel guilty grabbing that cup of joe in the morning. These studies are always so interesting because one of them, they found that six cups per day <laughs> right. Right, lowered the risk of advanced prostate cancer. Right. I don't know how you get a control group for that or how that <laughs> works in terms of, of but what what is that? What I mean, six cups is like a it's, crazy amount of that's coffee. That's a lot of coffee. Wow. And I think that the key really is moderation. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't go chugging coffee all day long to decrease your risk of cancer because there are um, some side effects, obviously, from drinking coffee. So I think if you like the coffee, drink it. You can feel okay about it. But I wouldn't advocate, you know, a, a constant infusion of coffee. And, and there are certain people with certain pre-existing conditions, we should say, right. who should absolutely limit their exactly. coffee. Exactly. And that's a good point, Harry. First of all, if you already have diabetes, mm -hmm. you want to limit the amount of coffee you have. So before we talked about preventing diabetes, right. if you actually have it, don't slug it all day long. Right. If you're pregnant, you really want to limit it to one or two cups of coffee a day. Uh -huh. And if you have sleep problems, obviously, you know, don't drink coffee all day long. Really? Yeah. Let me write that down. <laughs> <laughs> I better stop having a cup at 10 o'clock at night. Dr. Levine, as always, thank you so much for coming in this morning.